and deepest valleys of the Ural Mountains. The signal found its target at the center of Eurasia. That night, we were celebrating a state of trance 650 at the exhibition center in Yekaterinburg. I'm glad we got the chance to show the world how big and beautiful this city is and how the inhabitants are able to party the whole night long. And it may have been very cold outside, but inside, thousands of the state of trance lovers warmed up the dance floor. People from all across the world were able to tune in to the live broadcast and be part of this special show. Online, people sent thousands of tweets, pictures, and shared their State of Trance experience at home. They were even trending worldwide on Twitter. State of Trance 650 Day Katarinburg, for me, was incredible. Spreading the love for Trance. We welcome you to our new journey, going further and further. Expand your world, Day Katarinburg. Celebration of 650 episodes of 
I don't know if you're watching the live stream right now. But then you can see it's really going off already. Incredible. Alexander Popov. Of course, he's from Russia. But he's an amazing trance producer live here right now from Yekaterinburg on the New Horizons World Tour. And Ruben de Ronde just came off the stage. Yes. How was it, man? Incredible. I mean, you normally don't have it at the normal club night if you play the first set that it's already going off like this. So I know, yeah. Only at a state of France. <laughs> I gotta say, respect that you really build up your set as well and not throwing immediately all the big anthems in, really building it up. Well, it, it's only an hour set and normally I build even a little bit more with a little bit more progressive stuff. But uh, yeah, it's always nice to play the first set because you can really build up, play some progressive tunes and I prefer that. Yep. Well, thank you so much, Ruben. We will see you again on the 1st of March in Buenos Aires, Argentina for a live set. And of course, you'll be there for every live thing that we do on this New Horizons tour. And a little bit, we have the big room, or should I say Bigfoot Giants in the studio, Willem and Bart. But right now on stage, Alexander Popov. <laughs>
Hello Armin, this is Daniel Kansky and congratulations to 650 episodes of A State of Trance. Much love and support from Lebanon. Hey Armin, this is Manuel Rodriguez from Boca Raton, Florida. I just want to give a shout out to Maria Paula Hernandez from Bogota, Colombia. The State of Trance 650. New Horizons. This is A State of Trance. Hashtag ASOP 650. ASOP 650.
What a vibe here in Jekaterinburg. Use the hashtag ASOT650RU on social media. We'd love to know where you're listening from and how you're enjoying the episode so far. Don't forget to share your pictures using the hashtag MyHorizon. We actually have some really great packages of exclusive State of Trance merchandise and CDs. And you can win a meet and greet at one of the coming events if you upload your picture using the hashtag MyHorizons. We've got some really cool pictures already. Yesterday, we had one of the very first non-broadcasted main events of the New Horizons Tour. I'm very pleased to say that if you tune in to the normal episode of A State of Trance this week, that you can listen to the highlights of some of the sets. On stage, I was joined by great artists like Rank One, Omnia, Ram Solar Stone, and the Maltese duo Tunisia. And on the phone right now, he used to be part of the famous duo Bas and Ram, and he created one of the biggest monsters of last year, Ramelia. Besides being a DJ and producer, he's also organizing a wider range of events with grotesque Rambone. And to give you a little bit of an idea what happened, I gave him a call just before tonight's broadcast and I asked him how his set was and how his debut went. It was amazing. Very nice crowd, a great setup of the stage. Uh, didn't know what to expect from Kazakhstan, but rocked, so uh, I had a great time. Yeah, I saw you briefly uh, on the stage uh, when I walked off. They don't have events like this in Kazakhstan, so it was really unexpected for me, but I saw that they knew the tracks, and uh, did you have the same experience, that they knew your music and stuff? Yeah, exactly. They just all the tracks, all the vocal tracks, they knew everything. I was also very surprised by that. The listeners uh, right now that listen to the show in uh, Yekaterinburg, they weren't there last night. Can you describe the event in your own words? Oh, simply amazing. It was a big show, big setup for the stage, uh, very enthusiastic crowd. Everybody was full on uh, into the music, so yeah, it was a great experience. Uh, I have a uh, really good news for the for the fans of uh, DJ Ram. Uh, your set has been recorded, and we will broadcast this this week on a State of Trance 650 Part Two. So this Thursday, tune into a State of Trance. You will hear some of the highlights, and if you want to hear the entire set by DJ Ram, make sure you tune into Sirius XM. Thanks, Ram. Thank you for making time for us. See you again soon. Keep rocking those tunes because uh, I heard some of your new stuff. It's really impressive. Thank you. We will see you very soon, man. Thanks again. Thank you. Thank Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye bye. You and millions of other trans fans are joining us on our search for new horizons. This is a state of trance. And right now, on stage, one of my favorite producers of the moment, Alexander Popov.
Why? Is there anybody out there? I think you're a bit quiet. I can't hear you. Did you know that people can heal you all around the world? This is the state of drugs. And let the world know how proud you are of Alexander Popov. Come on.
This is a state of trance, the first major event of this amazing New Horizons tour. I'm so happy that the room is already so full. I mean, it's still pretty early on the night here in uh, Yekaterinburg. Looking at the screens here we have in the studio, the show at the Expo Center is, well, let's put it that way, I'm quite speechless. Luckily, I have a duo here that don't know the word speechless. Willem Envart of W&W. How are you guys? Very Great. good. You? Yeah, very good. Um, are you guys ready? Of course. <laughs> You just told me in the dressing room that you are going to play a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of new material. A lot, yes. actually. A lot of unfinished stuff. We just, just made, just for, especially for this event, I think a lot of stuff from our new la from our label. Yeah. And a new remix for Gareth Emery. The okay. new track. We nice. Have the, we have the whole month off, so we have... Uh, so does that make you extra prepare. nervous if you play so many new tracks? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's so always curious no to see what, what uh, to expect. We were always uh, curious what people uh, think, so... So a lot of things uh, have changed for you, right? Ever since the first gigs at Set of Trans 400? Yes, that was the first gig we actually did together. That's Is that? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was. Wow. And look at you now, sky high. <laughs> okay, spill the beans. Bigfoot. Because uh, maybe the camera can go down on the on the feet of, of the guys and and, and <laughs> especially Wars. Uh, who's 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 who has big feet? I, I have uh, size <laughs> fifty. So how did you come up with the idea to make a a, a track about your feet? No, it's, it's actually the, the, Willem's idea. I, I came <laughs> into the, the studio title. and we had that track and like Bigfoot was like on the news and stuff. And when I looked at his feet. I was like, Bigfoot. <laughs> Bam! That's near Bigfoot. So who's the vocal in the track? That's him. That's actually <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> Like uh, <laughs> one, one, one more time, how do you do that? Big foot. <laughs> and then pitch down. All right, we're looking forward to your set. Thank you so much for coming down here, guys. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Stay tuned. In about 20 minutes, these guys will rock your world. Live in video and audio. But now, let's return fast to Alexander Popov. <laughs>
I tell you a little secret? Can I tell you a little secret that I'm secretly a massive Alexander Popov fan? Just check out his album, seriously. And did you know that he actually has a different name in Russian? We're coming live to you from the Expo Center in Yekaterinburg. Outside it's minus 25 degrees Celsius. Inside it's heating up. And right before his set, Ruben caught up with Alexander to talk about his sets and more. The Rec Room, Ruben Durand. So Alexander, you premiered a new track called Quantum during last uh, Thursday's broadcast, showcasing a little bit broader sounds. Is that something that we'll hear on the follow-up of Personal Way? Well, yeah, the new track sounds a bit different than my latest works, but I don't think I will change my style a lot. I think uh, in Quantum you can also hear uh, some kind of Alexander Popov melodies, but we'll try to do something maybe fresh, but I'll stay in trance for sure. So you're a married man and you have a beautiful baby right now. With a life on the road, is it really hard? And how do you stay in touch with your family back home? Nowadays, it's not so difficult. You can uh, call on Skype or send a text in WhatsApp. That's what I'm doing. And we're usually uh, in touch with my uh, wife. She shows me my boy, how he's doing. So it's okay for me. The Rec Room. Rec Room. Alexander Popov ripping it up here in the stage. Don't forget to send us your messages on Twitter. Hashtag ASOT. 650RU. And in about five minutes, main stage, W&W. But first, the last tracks of Alexander Popov.